what's going on guys welcome back to Turner fishing this is Steven Turner so in the past videos I've explained like you know what a brush pile looks like how to fish a brush pile how to catch fish on a brush pile uh, how to use a jig pole on a brush pile just a lot of stuff about brush piles but what I haven't explained is the thought process that goes through my head sitting at home while it's raining cats and dogs all week long how do you go from sitting at home putting in at the boat ramp going to an area and finding a brush pile I'm gonna show you all all that thought process coming up So the lake that has been requested the most <clears throat> has been Lake Greenwood. You know, in the last video I said if you wanted me to do this, I'm not going to do it on Mary. That's not okay with me because that takes some areas that I fish out of the equation. You know, I, I show the spots, but I'm not just going to give you GPS coordinates. So a couple of people suggested Lake Greenwood, so we're going to dive right into Lake Greenwood. I've fished Lake Greenwood a couple times. I mainly fish the bridges on Lake Greenwood at certain times of the year. They produce pretty good. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the number one thing, like if I have the map out to here, you know, I'm going to go fish a new lake. I'm going to go fish a lake I fished my whole life. As soon as you start strolling in, you'll see this river channel. It'll be a dark line with a bunch of contours, which if you don't know what contours are, it's the, the, the lines, the space between the lines, like the foot, like one, two, three, four, five, up to however deep your lake is. So before we jump right in, we're going to talk about this really quick. So we got one foot right here, two foot here, three foot, and then four foot. And I hope that gives you a just a, a really quick understanding of what contour lines mean on Navionics. Now, well, I didn't even the the pull up this map. You got to go to just Google Navionic web app, and it'll pull it up. It's free to use, so check it out. So when I pull up a map, like this is Lake Greenwood right here, and the whole lake has this one river channel. That you can see now these are on most lakes some lakes may not have it now if your lake doesn't have it I mean you can still use some of the tips I'm going to give you to find the best docks or the best areas to scan for a brush pile so starting all the way at the bottom you got Greenwood uh, Buzzard Roof Dam and this right here is pretty much kind of where the channel starts so you're going to go in here and the way I like to do it the more tighter the contour lines are, the faster the water gets deeper. So if you zoom out, you can see that some of the banks are really dark and some of the banks are really light. And the really dark stuff is normally where the contour lines are just so close together. That means it's a, a steep drop off. And that's the docks that I want to scan when I go to a lake certain times of the year now we're, we're coming into spring so I'd, I'm not a real big spawn fisherman for crappy now I am going to make videos on that this year going down in the, into the creeks into the spawning areas and fishing up really dirt shallow and showing y'all how to catch them but to get numbers and limits in my honest opinion you want to intercept them you know you know the crappie is going to go back in the creeks the crappie is going to go up shallow to spawn but they got to come from somewhere to get there and they're not all just going to be like oh I'm in deep water let's go spawn no like like if you had your hand up oh I'm in deep water let me check out this dock 
Oh, I'm tired. Let me go to this dock. Let me go on this point. Oh, now we can spawn. So you want to figure out where they're going to go. And one of the best ways to do that is follow this river channel. Now I'm not saying that the crappy's going to be on down here at the start of the river channel and they're going to follow it all the way up and go all the way to the end of the river channel and spawn over here in this flatter area. No. You want to find an area of the lake like if you put in right here I don't know what this boat ramp's called. It's at a bridge. So it's got to have a boat ramp somewhere, I would assume. Uh, I want to say when I fished Greenwood, which, I, like I said, I've only fished it like two times. I fished a 221 bridge. And the, uh, what they call the, the train rustles. Or train track rustles or something. It was really good. But anyway, so let's just do this area right here. I don't know. Well, this area is called Highway 72 Lawrence Side. You got this bridge right here. So I'm guessing there's a boat ramp near it. Alright, so if I'm going to put in there, where do I want to go? Now normally, where the dam is, the water's clear. But on this lake, I believe the water is going to be clear up. Not sure. We're not even going to worry about water clarity. No, I'm just going to throw that out of the bucket. <clears throat> so we're going to go in. We're going to follow this river channel. You know, we got this bridge right here that a river channel goes under. That might be the train train trussles or whatever it's called. <clears throat> Would be a good area to check. But we're, we're talking about finding brush piles. I'm not talking about doing bridges right now. <laughs> All right. So we're following this river channel. Following this river channel. See, you got a, a, a creek channel right here. There's a point right here and a creek channel. Amazing place for bass fishing. So, follow the river channel. Alright, now here's our first contender of where I would start scanning. If we back out, we see this river channel comes all the way through here and it swings right here. Now, what that means is this river channel has got current coming right to this dock right here and that this one right here <clears throat> and this one and this one and this one so what I'm gonna do is I would I'll give you all the pinpoint accurate wherever my mouse is right here I would literally just start side scanning every single dock down this line you know they're not very deep but Lake Greenwood's not as deep as you know Lake Murray or Lake Monticello so a 16 foot dock is essentially the equivalent of like a 25 foot dock on Murray <coughs> excuse me so that's the the number one thing is to follow this river channel and, and this river channel is going to swing onto the bank and there's just so much life like plankton uh, bait fish that's going to be in this current from the river or from the river channel and going from the deeper water in the channel back to shallow water and I mean a fish believe it or not is like me and you you know if I could go outside and there would be like a chef out there making me some food that would be a lot better than having to get in the car and drive all the way to a restaurant so the deep water access and then there's shallow water nearby is the key to finding the perfect dock or area to find a brush pile in so that's where I would start and now that's putting in at this boat ramp right here. I would start on these docks right here. And let's see, let's find another area. So we've got Boyd's Bridge right here, Harris Landing Ramp. I think this is where I put in, because I think 221. I don't know where I put in, guys. I don't know. So Harris Landing Ramp. All right. So I know that's one, so we're gonna 
<clears throat> put our boat in, we're going to go to the left. We're going to back it up, we're going to find this river channel, follow this river channel. So, every one of these are like 8 to 9 foot. But we have a spawning bay back here. But it's not very big, but it is protected by the north wind, kind of. But we're going to keep following this river channel. And here's another golden spot. It doesn't have a dock on it. But this little point right here, I would definitely... Like, you've got to put yourself in other people's shoes. When people put brush piles out, they just don't randomly throw them out there. Well, I'm sure people do, but... When our my family puts out brush piles, we pick a specific depth. We pick a certain area. We pick a, a creek drop off. We, we pick, you know, a point. We pick a dock that has current. We, we pick a dock that's in the creek channel. We pick a dock that the river swings against. And if you check these areas, other people are going to think like that. And you cut out half the work. You don't have to put the brush piles out. You just got to find the brush piles that other people put out. See what I'm saying? So, if we back the map up, we can follow this river channel. And it does swing against this point right here. And you've got a hump at 21 foot of water. And you've got a deep drop off on the other side. Now, if there's not a brush pile in there, go get some cement at Lowe's. And cut some trees out your yard. And go drop some in there because that would be an ideal spot for a brush pile. <clears throat> so we've got that. And that, that is the, the easiest way to find a spot with a brush pile that has fish. I'm not saying you can't idle through all this and find other brush piles. But these are high percentage areas that I'm trying to explain to everybody. <clears throat> that you can target year round you can target these in the fall you can target these in the winter you can target these in the summer you know and certain times of the spring those fish have to go there like if these fish are right here like if there's a couple brush piles right here which they should be honestly I, I would have like six or seven condos out here if these fish are right here all right well the spring is coming so they're gonna come down and they they might stop on this dock right here. All right, they're gonna come on down. They might stop on this dock right here, and it's just gonna repeat itself until they get into whatever water they want to spawn in. And if they could go from this dock and go around this point and come over here to this shallow area, or vice versa, you know, you're catching them off this brush pile. All right, they're following this river channel to go spawn. What do you know it? These marina docks right here, all three of them are in this river channel. So, I would scan all these pylons. Especially if you have live scope. If you have live scope and you can shine it under all this stuff, I can almost 100% guarantee there's crappy on these three docks right here. If there's not buoys saying you can't fish it. I don't know. Never been there. But, let's keep following this river channel see the river channel pretty much just turns into like a whole river right here and that's where you know it gets a little bit tricky like you, if you don't know where it swings and stuff like right here is a pretty good indication that it kind of swings more on the right side than the left that's because that's just where the deeper water is so in reality, any of these docks right here could be good. So to recap, figure out where you're putting in. I mean, we can, we can go down here. Let's do one more. I'm going to go from the state park. Where's the state park? Buzzer's Roof right here. Here's the state park. This is where, you, you know, a lot of people put in. All right, we got the river channel right here. And we also have a creek channel right here. But, I mean, these docks may be good right now. Because I'm pretty sure Lake Greenwood's pretty muddy. But, let's just, alright, we put in at the state park right here. 
where would I start is the question so just give me a minute guys we're gonna follow this river channel up try to find the best dock in my opinion from the state park our best row of dogs that could potentially have some slabs on it now see these docks right here <clears throat> which they don't come out to let's see that's nine foot right there it's touching nine foot on those dogs this point right here potential it's got potential guys potential but right here yeah that's that's a pretty good dock right there so we've got the state park here it's a straight shot up I would check this dock right here that would be the if if I went out tomorrow in my boat that would be the first stop it's right on the edge of this river channel right here it's got deep enough water 18 foot on the end of it but let's see let's find something closer to the state park because you know a lot of people are like me and use John boots so we have no docks through here not saying there ain't brush piles so let's see and essentially you're just looking for a deep dock or a deep line of docks And, I mean, a deep dock on this lake, like I was saying earlier, may be, you know, eight foot. I don't know. But I want tight contour lines on the dock. I don't want one that's spread out. But for this case, I don't see what I'm looking for to find, like, the best dock on the lake from where your boat ramp is now from this point let's see we got the park right here we go straight across we got an island right here and it looks like this point coming out be a hell of a bass place but also you got a lot of a lot of tight contours so be a really decent little area to go tight lining so let's go into this pocket real quick and find the deepest dock in here which I believe is this one right here so you got eight foot and there's eight yes right there now that one I would definitely check so let's zoom on out you got the state park and this dock is in whatever creek this is let's see if it says the name but let's find it again right here you see how like all the rest of these docks you know are in about five foot of water this one the end of its I mean I would check this one too but the end of its it looks like about 13 foot but this one is around 15 foot deep and that that seems to be the deepest one on there so like I said guys I mean it's it's all about following the river channel and finding the deeper docks with the tighter contours finding the deeper banks if, if your lake doesn't have a lot of docks just find the, the tight contours and just idle use your side scan use your down scan you're gonna find brush piles that other people put out you're gonna find brush I mean and if you have a really small lake like a pond or you know a small reckon re, uh, reckon uh, recreational lake that a lot of people don't fish asking you set out your own brush and find areas like I've shown in this video to uh, put your own brush out I mean making brush is fun uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube how to make brush um, in my opinion PVC pipes the best for areas that you want to fish like your entire life like we've got brush out that will be there when I, I die you know probably <laughs> but uh, Christmas trees work exceptionally well. You get about two years out of them. 
but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video hit the like button for me I hope I taught you something um, be sure to go to crappymanjigs.com to order you some jigs so you can get on some slabs I'll catch y'all in the next one